If you have a high risk tolerance and are looking for a pure play in quantum computing that you can invest in, look no further. It's time to give an update on IonQ, which like I mentioned, is the first publicly traded pure play quantum computing company that trades under the ticker DMYI, which is currently a SPAC. So keep in mind that the ticker symbol will eventually change to IONQ. So first, I'm going to get into IonQ's new collaboration partner and what it means for them. And then I'll discuss a recent incredible breakthrough in technology that they've had. Accenture. IonQ worked to bring quantum computing to more businesses. So first off, Accenture is definitely not a small company. They are a multi-billion dollar Irish-based multinational professional services company that specializes in IT and consulting with over 500,000 employees worldwide across 200 cities. So basically, Accenture provides business, technology, and operations strategy services. So they're a technology, business, and management consulting company. And I think that the reason that this partnership is so significant is because IonQ is a startup company. They were founded in 2015 and only have roughly 70 employees. And to bring quantum computing to the mainstream, you really need to have a solid strategy, both on the marketing and technology side. And in this specific partnership, IonQ and Accenture will join forces to help other businesses assess how quantum computing will help improve their outcomes. And with Accenture's client list spanning 120 countries and over 75% of the top Fortune Global 500 companies, this partnership could honestly go a long way in bringing quantum computing further into the mainstream. Which is incredibly important, because quantum computers actually have more applications that they can be used for other than in niche areas of science like particle physics. In the future, quantum computing will be used for artificial intelligence, which is a really broad area that covers everything from automation and marketing, as well as cybersecurity, financial modeling, more accurate weather forecasting, and even supply chain management. So we won't panic under another Suez Canal incident. And what IonQ is bringing to the table is an 11-bit trapped ion system that is available through AWS, Google Cloud, and Microsoft Azure meaning companies who actually want to use quantum computing don't literally need to have a quantum computer on their premises. That's the power of the cloud. IonQ has a 32 qubit system and even plans to develop modular quantum computers that can be networked and chained together, which will help pave the way for a large scale system that IonQ claims could be ready by 2025. And although quantum computing technology is still relatively scarce today, over time, there is no doubt that this kind of technology is going to be much more widely accepted. And when you look at the grand scheme of things, quantum computing is still young, being that research and development on it began in 1980, and the first ever quantum computer wasn't actually built until 1988. And that's one of the reasons why I find IonQ so intriguing, because although what they're developing is still in its infancy, Quantum computing moving into the mainstream is as inevitable as electric vehicles. It's just a matter of time, which is why, although investing in early technology doesn't always promise high rewards, if you find the right investment, the rewards can be tremendous. And this whole collaboration between Accenture and IonQ, I think, is very telling of an increase of interest in quantum computing among businesses. And according to Accenture, Business spending on quantum computing will surge from 260 million in 2020 to 9.1 billion by 2030. And this isn't just Accenture giving some off the cuff numbers. Accenture has concrete evidence from all the business clients that they've worked with that industries are hungry for quantum computing. And Accenture has helped develop quantum computing algorithms for molecular simulation with biopharmaceutical company Biogen and they've also worked on financial use cases for quantum computers with BBVA, a United States company, which is cool because it shows Accenture has experience working with quantum computers. And look, I get it. Even though quantum computers aren't expected to reach full maturity for at least another decade or so, 
There are still some businesses out there that are already preparing for the moment that the technology is available. So, aside from the partnership, you might be wondering what the recent breakthrough in technology is for IonQ. And it's their new architecture in a glass quantum computer chip called Evaporated Glass Traps, or EGTs for short. IonQ was actually able to beat its technology roadmap projection by over a year by demonstrating its reconfigurable multi-core quantum architecture, also known as RMQA. And reconfigurable refers to the system's ability to move and combine smaller chains of ions into larger ion chains, which will increase the computing power of the processing unit. And IonQ believes the EGT will eventually be able to support at least a triple digit number of qubits on a single chip. So I know what I just said is a lot, but basically all you need to know is they're creating superior architecture and better chips that will be able to increase the number of qubits used in computations, making their computers more powerful. This is honestly incredible stuff. Quantum computing, however, is still difficult to navigate. There are still lots of businesses out there that are hesitant to integrate quantum systems, given the challenges of understanding all the technical details and overhauling their legacy systems. And another challenge that quantum computers will have is to get over the perception of them being geared towards academia rather than industry. However, with the new collaboration between IonQ and Accenture, they have the potential to make the technology more widely accessible and change that perception so that once quantum computers can finally outperform classical computers, more businesses will feel comfortable adapting the new technology into their ecosystem. But overall, the partnership between INQ and Accenture looks very promising. And while I'm not saying that INQ is for sure going to be the number one player in quantum computing, they sure are positioning themselves to be. And yeah, that's the video I've got for you guys today. Thanks as always, and I'll catch you next time.